That's where inflation comes in. Because all fields, all quantum fields, have tiny fluctuations in them. They're not, they are not isotropic either. Quantum right. physics enabled this universe. Exactly. That's right. We are quantum fluctuation. We yes. are the product of quantum. If inflation's right, we shouldn't presuppose that it is, but we're right. looking to see if there if is or is. Right. Then. So yeah, so that and those pools of dark matter knew where to coagulate because of the fluctuations in the quantum so field. So now these fluctuations, are they disruptions in the field itself yes. that create something pops out of the field and yeah. that's the, so the universe itself, is it just one big field? <laughs> according to some, according to some that the, that the universe is in a particular instantiation of these conditions of our quantum field in what's called the multiverse. When we were kids, there was just a universe, right? right. Now there's a multiverse, which some say should be more encompassing. Just as we know, we're just one star, one planet. There's one, many, many billions of galaxies. There could be trillions or an infinite number of universes. But where do they inhabit? They inhabit the multiverse. The multiverse is the collection of all points in four-dimensional space-time and maybe higher space-time that could, will, or ever will mm -hmm. exist. So yeah, so we are a fluctuation in that greater space. You're absolutely mm. right. And then within those fluctuations, it's like waves in the ocean. They're waves upon waves upon waves. And we are the manifestation of the infinite series of wave trains that perhaps dates back to the Big Bang itself. So Chuck, as insulting as it sounds, to accuse someone of being a fluctuation <laughs> is actually quite the compliment, <laughs> cosmically speaking. Look at that.